อาภาคบา What comes to your mind first when you think of Indonesia? Known as the Emerald of the Equator, it is a land of complete Islam. Because Indonesia is the world's most populous Muslim-majority country, it is also the land of volcanoes with the most active volcanoes of all countries in the world. There are more than 400 volcanoes in Indonesia, including 129 active volcanoes. Moreover, it is the land of archipelago, since Indonesia is the largest island country in the world. Well, in order to better understand Indonesia within a short period of time, I will simply split my presentation into five parts: the land of Indonesia. The culture of Indonesia, the attractions of Indonesia, the food of Indonesia, and the sports of Indonesia. And now let's get started. Indonesia, officially named the Republic of Indonesia, is a country in Southeast Asia and Oceania, between the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Indonesia is a transcontinental country, where its territory is considered as part of either Asia or Australia. Consisting of more than seventeen thousand and five hundred islands, Indonesia shares land borders with Malaysia, Papua New Guinea, and East Timor, and shares maritime borders with Thailand, the Philippines, Singapore, and Australia. The Indonesian archipelago is notably composed of five major islands: of Sumatra, Java, Kalimantan, Sulawesi, and New Guinea, with an area of over 1.9 million square kilometers. Its land mass is slightly larger than that of Xinjiang Province in China. As of 2020, Indonesia has reached. A population of more than 270 million people, ranking the fourth in the world's population. Administratively, Indonesia has 34 provinces, five of which have special status. Each province has its own political legislature and governor. In addition to the capital of Jakarta, the other major cities are Surabaya, Bandung. Medan and Semarang. Moreover, Pon Kap Jaya is the highest peak, and Kapua River is the longest river in Indonesia. The flag of Indonesia is a bicolor flag with red on top and white below. Indonesian currency is called rupiah, and the current exchange rate for one Chinese yuan is about. 2,200 Indonesian rupiah. In addition, Indonesia's climate is tropical: hot, wet, and humid. The temperature range on the coasts is between 24 centigrade and 28 centigrade for most of the year. There is heavy rain in the wet season, but the rain drop relatively drops between June and September. Second, let's talk about the culture of Indonesia. Throughout the country, Indonesian or Bahasa Indonesia is the most widely spoken language, and Islam is the predominant religion, followed by Buddhism, Christianity, Confucianism, and Hinduism. That's why Indonesia has been described as one nation, many cultures. The core concepts of Indonesia are faith-saving, polite behavior, harmony, warmth, gentleness, filial piety, unity, and collectivism. So, what are the don'ts and cultural taboos that you might not be aware of while visiting Indonesia? Number one. Dress. Don't wear a very sexy dress in public. 
such as very short trousers or singlet. Otherwise, the locals would think of you as a sex worker. Number two, eyes. Do not look someone right into his eyes, but instead you'd better look down or focus on the chin or forehead. Number three, hands. Don't stand tall with your hands on your hips. This is considered an aggressive posture by all Indonesians. Number four, face. Do not criticize someone directly, because pointing out their mistakes can cause an Indonesian to lose face. Number five, temper. Do not raise your voice or lose your temper in public. It will make Indonesians feel awkward to see someone losing emotional control in public places. Third, let's mention the attractions of Indonesia. Indonesia is a huge country with a wealth of tourist attractions. Wherever you end up going, the experience is sure to be one filled with appreciation for the country. Beaches of Bali is Indonesia's most popular vacation spot, since it has a number of cultural landmarks and beautiful beaches. Borobudur is an ancient and massive temple, and one of the top UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Gili Islands are a major draw in Lombok, which has risen in popularity among backpackers and tourists over the years. Komodo National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, where you can see the world's largest living reptile that can reach three meters. Bunaken is located at the north of the island of Sulawesi, one of the most famous dive and snorkeling areas. Mount Bromo is an active volcano and one of the most visited tourist attractions in Indonesia. Tana Toraja will help you feel like you have stepped far back in time. In particular, funerals are elaborate ceremonies involving plenty of food and traditional dance. Lake Toba on the island of Sumatra is both a body of water and super volcano. Fourth, let's speak of the food of Indonesia. To be exact, Indonesian food is a collection of various regional culinary traditions that formed this archipelagical nation. Here, a top 10 must-eat Indonesian food. Nasi goreng is the fried rice, which is a staple and a favorite Indonesian food among locals and tourists alike. Gato gato is an Indonesian salad, a combination of boiled vegetables doused generously with peanut sauce dressing. Satay, the national dish, is grilled chicken served with flavorful peanut sauce. Rendang is normally a dry beef stew, but sometimes liver, chicken, or other meats would be cooked in coconut milk and spices. Gudam is a sweet vegetarian and a stew made from young jackfruit with palm sugar, coconut milk, and lots of spices. Pempak is a traditional Indonesian fish cake that is made with ground fish and tapioca. Bakso is a meatball made from beef surimi and is usually served in a bowl of beef broth with noodles, vegetables, tofu, and eggs. Soto Batawi is a soup that is made of beef, a beef offal with cow milk. Unlike Chinese people who are fond of drinking hot tea, Indonesians especially like to drink iced tea added with some sugar throughout the year. Then last but not least, let's move to the sport, 
of Indonesia. Generally speaking, sports in Indonesia are popular from both the participation and spectating aspect. Clearly, traditional sports of Indonesia include Pongkat Silat, a fighting sport, Sisemba, a handless form of combat, and Madura, known as its bow raising. Nowadays, there is no question that Indonesia's success in badminton. Although their most popular spectator sports are football, volleyball, futsal, basketball, table tennis, martial arts, and taekwondo, etc. As for the Asian Games, Indonesia competed in all editions since it was first held in 1951. One of only seven countries to do so. It should be emphasized that Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia, has hosted the Asian Games in 1962 and 2018 with Palembang. Clearly, the top ten sporting events that won ten or more medals in previous 18 Asian Games, including badminton. Tennis, swimming, boxing, weightlifting, cycling, pancat silat, taekwondo, karate, and sepatakra. Okay, I have only scratched the surface of the introduction to Indonesia. Yet, you do need to go there by yourself if you want to see the true color of Indonesia. But once you enter the country, be aware. That the ultraviolet rays are very strong, and there are many mosquitoes and flies there. One reason is because Indonesia is located nearby the equator. Thanks a lot for watching. If you really like this video, please continue to watch the following units. Have a good day. Sampai jumpa. Goodbye.